Ho ho, today's video is gonna be a fun one. Today, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I got my second streaming monitor for $3.76. No, that's not a typo. You're probably like, Cody, I'm looking at Amazon. They're like $200, $300 for another streaming monitor. Don't worry, fam, I got you. If you're balling on a budget like me, all I ask is that you drop a like on the video to help other homies find this video. But you might be asking yourself, why do I even need a second streaming monitor? Well, if you think about it, your first monitor should always have your video game that you're playing in full screen so that way you can actually play the game. Your second monitor should have OBS Studio and your chat and everything else that you possibly need for your stream. So that way you have the most control over everything. Speaking of OBS, if you're using OBS, you need to have a subscription to OwnPro. OwnPro is a wonderful OBS Studio plugin that basically is a one-stop shop to have everything you could possibly need for your Twitch stream. They have over 600 premium overlays and alerts for your OBS streams, compacting everything you could possibly need into OBS Studio itself. So you don't have to have three different monitors of all the different information that you need. They even have a full catalog of copyright free music available to your disposal for your Twitch stream so you don't get in trouble. My favorite thing about this is their one click overlay and alert installer. It makes everything super straightforward and easy to set up. So thank you OwnPro for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested, check the link in the description down below. But now that your stream's looking fresh and cool, let's jump into the video and see exactly how I got my second streaming monitor for $3.76. Guys, we really need to throw some Fs in the chat. One of our, one of our members has no longer with us anymore. The alleged $5 monitor that I got from Goodwill about a year or two ago has now passed on. I tried pressing it on this morning and uh, the power wouldn't go on. I swapped out cables and everything. So we got the one monitor, we got the TV, and we got an empty space. I'm gonna try to go over to Goodwill, see if I can snag us another one, show you guys how to get a monitor for like under $5 or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead over to Goodwill and see what happens. All right, we've arrived at our location. The Gucci Will in the background, if you can see it, shout out to the Thrift School. If you guys watch Thrift School, one of the best thrifting YouTubers on YouTube. Go check them out if you haven't already. But I'm going to go over to their electronics section. I'm going to try and just record when I actually get in there because I absolutely hate recording in places because it's just so awkward. So I'm not going to really try and say anything. I'll probably do a voiceover, but I'll see you guys inside. Here we are in the electronics section of Goodwill. I've seen one computer monitor so far. It is $6.99 with a pink tag. That's going to come in handy later in the video. You can see it's uh, pretty dirty. It's got that nice gash right there on the screen. It looks like it definitely needs some TLC to get cleaned up. I found a second computer monitor here. It looks a little bit nicer. It doesn't have a nice giant gash on the screen, so that's nice. It looks like you can also adjust it too. This one is $6.99 with a yellow tag. I honestly like this one better just because it's adjustable, but uh, I think you guys might be surprised at the end of the video. But you guys can also find different computer monitors here as well. You can also use TVs. I saw a couple TVs if you're into that that have HDMI ports and all that, so it's really up to your consideration. It also depends on which Goodwills you're going to and how how many you go to I got lazy and this is the only one that I went to so we're back in our little studio with our missing monitor and you guys might actually be surprised which of the two monitors that I picked I actually did with this one and while it does have that giant gash right there I'm gonna explain why so first of all I realized that the pink tags were 50% off so $6.99 actually ended up costing us $3.50 plus tax is about $3.75. So while some people are saying, Cody, you cheap ass, it was only an extra $3. It's like, yes, I understand, but that's not really the main reason. That was just a supporting reason. Obviously it is, you know, a little beat up, a little dirty, but if I am correct, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same computer monitor that I actually just broke, like mine just broke. So this is gonna be a simple, just like plug and play. So it should theoretically just fit in that spot absolutely perfect with no changes whatsoever. So, you know, for 375, obviously I'm gonna have to do a little cleanup. I got my cloth, you know, rubbing alcohol, paper towels just to clean this up because it is pretty freaking dirty, but it does power on. I tested that, came with the power cord. I could have taken one of the, the cords for connecting it to the computer, but I'm just gonna use the one that I already have from my old one. So I, you know, I left it there for someone else to use in case they didn't have it. But if you look at the backside, uh, it is pretty grimy and uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cleaning. This part fell off. I mean, it's just a plastic piece to cover up that, but I'm probably gonna clean that anyways. Basically, when I say clean, I'm just gonna throw some rubbing alcohol on it and basically just wash around a little bit. So I'm gonna clean it up, plug it in. I'll put it into my computer slot and see what it looks like. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, boys and girls, we just finished cleaning it off. Honestly, it's not as nasty as I thought it was gonna be. Just a little bit of paper towels and rubbing alcohol. And I plugged it in, and honestly, I'm kind of nervous. Um, <laughs> the S-Video connectors, so the little blue old cable that I have, 
uh, was kind of messed up a little bit, so I just kind of re-bent it into shape. I have more in there. I'm just too lazy to do it. So uh, hopefully when I press this power button, it turns on and I don't know, let's just, let's keep our fingers crossed, all right? So it's connected to the power. It's connected S-Video to my computer. You might need to get an adapter from like China for like $2. Uh, that's what I had to do. So let's turn on the power button, please. Okay, power's on and so far so good back let's go okay okay great and you can't even really see that like scratch i mean you kind of can but like for example let's bring up discord real quick okay so let's go to discord bring this up you can't even really see it like you can it kind of just looks like a hair it looks like the ax that the aspect ratio is off a little bit so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of messing around with that i just quickly go into display under you know windows 10 then we're going to change the display of that monitor specifically. So I'm just going to go under display resolution. We're going to use the recommended. Why it didn't go on the recommended automatically, I have no idea. So let's do that. It's going to do the quick little change. And there we go. No more lines. And it's actually small and actually readable and not like your grandma was trying to be on the computer. So keep changes. No more lines. And honestly, I can't even really see that scratch. And that's kind of what I was hoping for because the scratch is just like on, you know, like the top of it. So if you have like a black background or if you have a, a color scheme going on, you're not gonna see it anyways. So let's fucking go. So depending on what kind of monitor you end up finding at your thrift store, you could get one that I got, which has like a VGA cable, which is like the blue one. If you're using a modern computer like I am, you might have to get an adapter. So it'll be a VGA to an HDMI, or you can get to the display port, depending on what kind of input you get. Some people get lucky and you can just get an HDMI one at the Goodwill or thrift store. Unfortunately, that was not the case for me, but I'm going to show you exactly where to get the adapter. Or if you have one lying around, maybe you'll just see the picture and be like, oh, I got one right in my closet. So you can obviously go head over to Amazon if you want to get it like the next day. So obviously that's going to come at a cost. So you can get one if you just go to VGA to HDMI or to DisplayPort, depending on what output or input you're using. You can just go on get it on Amazon, but obviously they're a little pricey because it's Amazon. You know, I think seven bucks is probably going to be the cheapest you can get it for. If you go to eBay, it's usually going to be a little bit cheaper. And this is where I got mine. Usually Usually they come from China, so it takes a little while to get to you for shipping. So depending on if you're in a hurry or not, you can choose eBay or Amazon. But here you can get one for $4.15. But you can actually even get them cheaper. So if we sort by lowest, then you can even get them for like 25 cents, depending if you win the auction. Or you can just straight up buy it for $1.20 free shipping. So if we go ahead and click on this one, chances are the shipping is going to take a hot minute. And actually, it doesn't look too bad because it says estimated on or before the 24th. I'm recording this on the 8th, maybe like two, three weeks for shipping depending it's not too bad of an option if you are really really balling on a budget but like i said if you guys can find one with an hdmi port at the thrift store that's going to save you a little bit of hassle like i had to do here or you might have one of these lying around already and you don't need one at all so it's really going to vary on a case-by-case -case basis by the way i just want to thank all my lovely patrons for helping support me every little bit counts link in the description below check out these videos on the side i think they're really going to help you on your streaming adventures and comment down below balling on a budget if you've made it all the way to the end of the video so i know you're a true homie